Today we'll be making keto stuffed peppers. What we got here is four peppers, red, green, yellow, doesn't really matter. We're gonna go ahead and uh, begin charring these peppers. All right, let's turn the burner on high in your vent on. I'm gonna do it by hand because I'm a professional. The peppers begin to blister and pop and smoke. Use the tongs to rotate them. Don't worry, the house is not gonna catch on fire. Oh, well, maybe. One to two minutes per side. We're gonna remove the peppers from the heat. You see they're charred on all sides. And we're gonna let this sit in this bowl for about 10, 15 minutes. Now it's time to remove them from the bowl. I'm gonna hold the pepper by the stem and we're gonna use a paring knife to scrape the skin from the flesh. Now let's cut the top in a small amount from the bottom. That way we can level it and discard all the seeds and then a liquid that's remaining in there. Gently slice down the middle of each. Open that up, put that in the casserole dish here. All right, let's go ahead and add some olive oil and we're gonna saute the garlic until fragrant. About 30 seconds. Go ahead and add your shallot. Set our onion. Go ahead and stir this for a few minutes. Grass-fed ground beef, half pound of ground pork. Now we added the ground beef and the pork sausage and we're gonna cook this until browned. Gonna add a half a head of cauliflower to a bowl here. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this in a uh, food processor or Vitamix and we're just gonna pulse it and make cauliflower rice. Grab our cauliflower rice and we'll go ahead and add that to the beef mixture here. And go ahead and mix this all together just for maybe a minute or so. Got two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, salt and pepper, half a stick of soft and cream cheese, and we're just gonna mix this until the cream cheese is fully melted. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the meat mixture between all the peppers. We're gonna add roughly a fourth a cup of beef stock to the bottom, just so it steams a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and top these peppers off with a cup of cheddar cheese. So we got the oven preheated at 400. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this with aluminum foil, and we're gonna bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right, it's been about 35 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take off the aluminum foil. I set the oven to broil, and we're gonna throw these in for about three to five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes under the broiler, and you can see the cheese is nice and crisp, and we're gonna go ahead and plate this. And go ahead and add a dollop of sour cream, cayenne pepper. Mmm. From my point of view, these are the best keto peppers.